Location of convicted Chris Hani Medra Januz Valush. Let's take you live to Pretoria now. At Hoshimampuru, the second correctional center. Mr. Yanus Walus was sentenced to death on the 15th of October 1993 on the charge of murdering Mr. Uh, Tembisile Chris Hani. He appealed his death sentence, which was later commuted to a life sentence on the 7th of November 2000. Uh, 2000. On 17 November 2017, I made a decision not to grant parole to Mr. Walus and uh, directed that certain conditions be met. A decision which was later challenged by Mr. Walus in the North Gauteng High Court on 6 September 2018. The, the High Court set aside the above mentioned decision purely on procedural grounds. In its ruling, the court ordered that the matter be remitted back to the Minister of Justice and Correctional Services for reconsideration within 120 calendar days. The court made the following specific orders, and I quote, one, that the applicant be afforded the opportunity to respond uh, to the report of the Correctional Supervision and Parole Board CSPB, two, that the SACP and uh, Ms. Dimpohani or the Hani family should be afforded the opportunity to file comments on the response of the applicant. And three, that the applicant must be afforded an opportunity to respond to the submission of SACP and the Hani family. Four, that in the reconsideration of the applicant uh, application for placement on parole, I must take into account all relevant information. In making this decision, I was, uh, I, I was uh, privy to the above mentioned submissions as ordered by the court. In the submission uh, or representations from the SACP and uh, Hani family, we only received uh, by my, we, they were only received by my office on the 8th of January 2019. We then agreed with the legal representatives of Mr. Walus that in light of our outstanding submissions, an indulgence will be granted until Friday the 18th of January 2019 for purposes of my decision. I now proceed to summarize the submissions received as follows. A. The applicant's response to the parole board's uh, report. Mr. Walus disagrees with the CSPB report on the basis that it is factually incorrect and that is purely based on the personal views of the parole board uh, chair. B. Psychological report of Zelda Beitendach, dated 15 October 2018, applicant's own private psychologist. That his report indicates that Mr. Walus has made some progress and is showing signs of remorse. It is noted that in paragraph 5 uh, e of the report, Mr. Walus may be suffering from the depression, may be suffering from depression, and has experienced explosive anger episodes. C. Psychological report of Shane Governor, dated 12 October 2018. That is the Department of uh, Correctional Services psychologist. The report highlights in paragraph eight and nine that Mr. Walus. Uh, asserts that he cannot change his political beliefs, but he now knows the difference between right or wrong. He also denounces violence as means to achieve political object objectives. D, representations by the SACP and Hani family. Their representations assert <coughs> that there is insufficient information on the reports 
filed by Mr. Walus for a proper decision to be taken. Both parties stand firm on their vi uh, victim empathy statements filed in October 2013 and October 2017. They noted that Mr. Walus uh, still requires psychological treatment for depression and anger problems. The Restorative Justice Pro Progress Report of Linda uh, Stain is incomplete regarding readiness for parole and thus making it difficult to succinctly comment on. E, response from Mr. Walus on the Honey Family Report and SACP. The report notes and refutes the contents of SACP and Honey Family re uh, Reports. Coming to my decision, I have carefully applied my, myself to all the above material together with all updated reports and the following is noteworthy. <laughs> the psychological report of Mr. Joel Mbele dated 2nd May 2017. His clinical impressions on Mr. Walus are as follows. One, in terms of his clarity of self, uh, clarity of self, he presents a clearly and volunteered information. Two, in the description of the crime, he provided detail to the crime and took responsibility for his criminal actions. Three, he clearly described his prominent and active role in the commission of the offense. Four, regarding empathy, it can be said that he expresses remorse for the fact that the victim's children are fatherless and wife is a widow. However, he showed no remorse for murdering Chris Honey, the communist leader. He still rationalizes his actions and insists that they were politically motivated. His ideas about communism still stand. The psychological report of Zelda Beitendach. Her clinical impressions on Mr. Walus are as follows. One, when asked about his reasoning regarding Mr. Hani's murder and if he's rationalizing it, he admits to rationalizing the assassination before, during, and shortly after committing the offense, but says he realizes that violence and killing someone is not the answer, even if people have different views. It is morally wrong, and he feels guilty about it. Two, Mr. Walus shows sincere remorse and the, for the crime he committed. Three, it is possible that his uh, thought processes are centered on certain topics that may lead to that may lead to worry and obsessiveness. He may experience difficulties making decisions. The test's results indicate that he has thought about suicide recurrently. Although there are not sufficient clinical indications that Mr. Walus is depressed, research suggests that people with this kind of problems and troubles are prone to become depressed and it should be something to keep in mind. Four, Mr. Walus tests results uh, <clears throat> that is own emphasis indicates that he has experienced anger problems where he would have ex explosive uh, episodes. In my decision, I had to take into account, amongst others, and have identified the following facts, factors. One, the possibility of him reoffending. Two, his remorsefulness, having considered the various reports of psychologists above and apparent contradictions arising th uh, therein. 
it was difficult for me to make a determination on the suitability for placement on parole at this stage. I have therefore come to the following decision. The placement of the offender on parole is not granted. It is directed that a further profile be submitted within six months of this decision for my consideration. In light of the conflicting psychological reports from Dr. Zelda Bezaden Dach and Mr. Joel Mbele, I have directed that the two professionals jointly assess the inmate and file a joint report on the issues concerning risk of reoffending and remorse. The offender should undergo individual psychotherapy uh, with a psychologist to assist in addressing challenges which have been hi highlighted on paragraph 5 2e of uh, Dr. Zelda uh, Beitendach's uh, report dated 15 October uh, 2018. These challenges include depression, suicidal thoughts, and explosive anger episodes. And that concludes this briefing. I thank you. Thank you, Minister. Um, we will have uh, a round of questions. Uh, starting in Germany. Any questions? Do you have a pen? Any questions in Victoria? Uh, number one, please know that you identify yourself and then you have to answer all questions in Victoria. Um, good day, Mr. Steve Postelman from SABC TV News. Now, we know that uh, Mr. Wallace's team has uh, said that uh, they will take this matter to the constitutional court uh, if uh, the, the, once more the parole has been uh, uh, denied uh, and uh, since we uh, just announced that here. So what are your thoughts on that uh, legal action that uh, his team is going to be taking, saying that they will be applying for direct access to the constitutional court to have a look at this matter? Thank you. Any other question in Victoria? Cape Town, do you have any questions on your side? There is no questions in Cape Town at this time. Okay, thanks, Cape Town. Thank you for the question. Uh, as you are well aware, uh, my, my position is always uh, that um, any person who is aggrieved with any administrative decision taken by government uh, or any other arm of state has every right to uh, have their dispute settled uh, in a court, an appropriate uh, court uh, or tribunal, and that obviously is the prerogative uh, of the applicant in this matter. Thank you. Thanks, Minister. Any further questions? Going once, twice, gone. Keep talking. Any questions? Nothing. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. This concludes our meeting. Thank you very much.